Rivalry is building at the RAF Edinburgh base with the Army and the Air Force preparing to duel in a charity cricket match. Even the Governor-General is flying in for the contest with all proceeds helping to build a beach house for South Australia's sick kids and their families. Army versus Air Force. Good luck, Paul. Yeah, bye bye, sir. You're going to need it. <laughs> the only time you'll ever see our services on opposing sides during a hotly contested cricket match. I'm not sure how, how much training the Air Force have put in. Uh, we're certainly putting the hours. We're looking for a great game of cricket. Obviously, we're looking for a, a great Air Force win. But the battle is about a lot more than bragging rights. The inaugural Baker Gordon Charity Shield, named in honour of two fallen servicemen, will raise money for South Australia's sickest children. Every dollar going towards the Women's and Children's Hospital Foundation, a hospital close to the hearts of many servicemen and women, few more so than Group Captain Greg Weller and his nine-year-old son Josh. It's his second home. He calls it his second home when we drive past there. Josh has had eight neurological operations and is regularly admitted for treatment for cystic fibrosis. The facility's so state-of-the-art that Group Officer Weller recently made the difficult decision to retire from operational duty to stay in Adelaide. We made the big decision to, uh, to get out of the Air Force um, earlier this year so that he could um, spend time at the hospital and get the treatment and the facilities he needs. The big match will be held on Sunday, November 12 at the Paynham Cricket Ground. Gates open at 11, entry via a folded note donation. All proceeds will help build a beach house near Victor Harbour, a place for families of children in palliative care to get away and spend time together. Which is going to be a custom built house for very ill children in South Australia and Northern Territory that they can go and have a family holiday. Cystic fibrosis is one of those diseases that doesn't have a cure. Um, he may need care in a palliative uh, unit sometime, and so please give. Alice Monfries, Nine News.